This video is sponsored by sellcashier.com. They compare iPhone prices on the internet and give you their instant quote and the most cash for your iPhone. Fifth year in a row, Tequarium brings you what's relevant and best on today's technology right from CES. We are enjoying this virtual event to its fullest and as we share our experience with you, we would like you to share your thoughts in the comments down below. Hey guys, we have been watching very closely what CES has brought thus far. This video is going to be slightly different and will include a series of proposed texts that we have very little insight into. Times have changed and either temporarily or indefinitely adjustments have been made for us in our daily lives. First and foremost, some of the decisions being made are hysterical and that is my only disclaimer before this video. Hence I want to show you a helmet that is designed to protect you from harm. I am not exactly sure if the novel coronavirus triggered this design, but it contradicts every principle that existed in healthcare for decades. These people seem to have a good time socializing and drinking wine, so I have to give it to them. They will be well protected once they fall drunk. Certainly not enough for being on a motorcycle, but probably good enough to be on a bicycle. Also of note is that this thing seems to have a battery, but it remains yet to be known if that is what it's for and it is possible that some augmented reality is an option, but I digress. We have been huge on wearing masks and it is totally understandable. This one is called an air pocket and offers filter inserts that are designed to protect you from particles. Hmm, but not sure if this has a fittable version of a HEPA filter. The good thing is, is that it doesn't have a flap type filter that expels particles externally as you breathe out. All right guys, after being in healthcare for so long, my hands are so dry that sometimes I dread an idea of using a hand sanitizer or washing my hands, even though I still do it every time. So this is a perfect idea. This is an automatic sanitizer that disinfects the door handle instead of your hands and I absolutely love it. All you have to do is refill and recharge it once in a while. Hands down, it is a must. Ah, the COVID-19 testing. The new normal and something that helps us track and sort this mess out hopefully and hopefully it will happen soon enough. This one is a bit different and actually tests for SARS-CoV-2 antibodies right there and then as this is a home test kit. Whether much is to be discovered if antibodies confer protection from severe COVID-19 disease, this promises to be a reliable assay to test for antibodies. The disclaimer is that I don't work for Abbott and that is one of the leading companies in healthcare. They are very well regarded in healthcare and also that the sensitivity of such tests is not 100%. Another great tech is an automated drone that sanitizes large areas. We all know that batteries on drones last a while and this device is highly capable. The only concern here is that this drone has very limited volume of fluid it can carry with it. And in this video it appears to be rather large, meaning the batteries probably won't last a while, but just a few tennis courts. But who cares, they can be easily swapped out, right? The mist that creates is impressive visually, but who knows if efficacy is really there based on how far away from the tennis courts it actually sprays the disinfectant. While the temperature checks are not entirely reliable, many office entrances will have automated or manned thermometer stations at entrances. This defeats the purpose in cases of asymptomatic COVID-19 infections, but certainly saves businesses money. Manning an entrance for 10 hours, 5 to 6 days a week becomes costly at large facilities. Once you come into work drenched in water without carrying an umbrella could also be a diagnostic issue, as we all know, evaporating water cools the surface. Many of us like to run, but this tech has nothing to deal with running. For all I know, you could be having a drink at the bar while letting a housemaid inside your place to drop off some groceries. And this is a perfect solution. Much like the electronic door locks, this door takes it to a whole other level and is completely automated, which means you can ensure it is actually closed. It does appear that it comes with a security camera, but we can only wonder if it actually does. And here's another hypertrophied marketing of a device that can monitor your vital signs. It is very promising where technology is heading these days and how expeditiously it happens. But none of this is new. Several devices have been around to monitor your heart rate and to also to a whole other level, and their battery lasts for about three years. Therefore, while less invasive, carrying a sticker on your chest for a questionable health benefit is something I will let you ponder yourself. Don't have a mask? No problem, we have a robot for you. It almost sounds as if this is our indefinite future. But its coordination is not where I would like it to be, in my opinion. Therefore, for high throughput areas with a lot of foot traffic, this is a bottleneck. Just imagine when you walk into a busy office building where human presence is limited on the elevators and you have a robot that takes 10 seconds to hand you a mask. That is not exactly efficient. And how about being at home and making sure that technology works for your benefit to its fullest potential? This gadget is right for you. Zoom is not new, but bringing Zoom to you is where this device becomes perfect. I'm sure it will eventually bump into a couple of pieces of furniture, but it will get it to you. 
the convenience is certainly there. Motion Sense is amazing and great again at decreasing surface contamination. Some tech giants tried this in real life, but some of it didn't survive. For example, the disappearance of a motion sensor from Pixel 4 to a Pixel 5 is a prime example. Also, of concern is that in this video, an almond croissant costs $1, which is almost unheard of these days. But I'm hands down for this touchless technology. Alright guys, I will close this video with this. Technology is everywhere and more tech is designed daily. Make sure that whatever technology surrounds you, that you use it to its fullest potential. Thank you for watching guys. Please let me know in your comments down below which tech is your favorite. See you in my next video very soon. Content format is different this year. CES is once again all about the newest tech and we love navigating through it with you. We do hope that come 2022, we get to experience a live event as we did for 4 years straight. Stay tuned for more great content.